as a kid, I was kind of embarrassed of the smell. Eventually, I got comfortable with it, and I introduced my friends to it, and like just taste it first. Every single time, they loved the food. I just wanted people to be more aware of how food and work came from. The majority of people I talked to, probably nine out of ten people, don't know what Laos is or where it is. So the country right in between, you know, Thailand and Vietnam, uh, north of Cambodia, south of China. My parents are uh, both immigrants from Laos. They came here in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, they both met here in Oklahoma City at Northwest Class in high school. Uh, I grew up in a kitchen my entire life. Graduated from OU in 2010. I spent two and a half years in advertising and decided that it wasn't for me. Food was calling me back. So I quit my job, came back, and opened up a food truck. Maybe. Our food is very similar to Thai food and uh, Vietnamese food, I guess. Uh, Southeast Asian flavors are, you know, sweet, salty, sour. Uh, Lao food is going to be more on the savory, uh, spicy, bitter, bitter side. Crispy rice salad is one of our most popular dishes here. Uh, something I learned from my aunt. Uh, adapted the recipe and made it my own. We make that dish is we take Japanese rice, we season it with coconut milk, um, red curry paste, fish sauce, uh, what else? a little bit of oyster sauce, and then we compact it into like a hockey puck, you know, really dense. Deep fry it for about eight minutes. Let it cool down, and then we'll take about three pucks, crumble it into a bowl. The fun part, very tedious. <laughs> Next is the cured pork, the nam. Uh, herb medley, we've got cilantro, green onions, and mint. This our seasoning, it's got uh, lime juice, a little bit of salt, fish sauce, chilies, peanuts for texture. Uh, and that is it, we'll mix it. I think it's important to have all those components. In my opinion, it it makes you happy, it makes your belly happy to get all these different flavors and textures in your mouth. It's like, wow, what are all, what's going on right now? So we are in the Bala District, a very buzzy neighborhood. Tons of restaurants, retail, uh, a lot of street art. I do have a mural uh, outside. Uh, it's done by Julie Robinson. Uh, her artist name is Jury, uh, Japanese artist. I asked her to do something to honor my grandmother. My grandmother passed away two months before I opened up this restaurant. So I wasn't able to, but I'll suck. I'm gonna have to start up. <coughs> I gave her a portrait of my grandmother. Like, resemble her as much as you can. I want her in the traditional Lao outfit. And I think one of the best murals, you know, in the city right now. A lot has a lot of meaning. Yeah. Whenever our, uh, yeah. we get new diners in here, you know what I want to see. What I want, I, I like to scan the restaurants when I, you know, people are here. It's a very small restaurant, just to see that first reaction. Like, is this gonna? make them smile like really big or are they gonna hate it it's you know so far the majority of the time people you know they're very excited about these new flavors we uh got an accolade for was uh bon appetit 50 best new restaurants in america and then the new york times is very similar but their list is uh the top 50 best restaurants in general in the nation so that was a huge honor and kind of out of the blue you know, I don't know what I'm doing right. I think it's, I'm just keeping my head down, working hard, believing in what I'm doing, and giving it everything I you know I've got. You know, I believe in my food, I'm confident in it. Uh, as long as I can just keep doing that, I think the city will, you know, uh, accept it and trust me.